So as he got up, he punched me in the face and smashed the glass. This is a photo of Chris Tollefson, taken a few hours after she says a man took her chair and then smashed a glass into her face at Lacage on Milwaukee's South 2nd Street last month. I am not the first person this type of stuff has happened to. I'm just the first person that's willing to fight and stand up for what's right of how we should be treated as trans people, as LGBT people, as human people, period. A customer who told me he witnessed what led up to the fight says he didn't hear any negative comments made about Chris being transgender, and he doesn't consider it a hate crime. But Chris says she now bears the scars of bias. Multiple stitches on the inside. My gum has been lacerated. Both of my lips were lacerated. Um, I have nerve damage right here. You know, it's entirely possible that um, the assailant was motivated by that factor. Michael Jost is a co-owner of Lacage. Lacage was really saddened by it and pretty sick about it. Lacage worker Jerome Phillips witnessed the aftermath. One of our security guards saw a police officer standing in front of Stenny's on Second and National and flagged him down. But the suspect got away, and Chris wants justice. Help me find the person that did this to me, or help me get through this in an easier way. 99% sure at this point, as of last night, we know exactly who did it. So um, we will be giving the police officers that information this evening. Police say they're investigating. In Milwaukee, Terry Sater, WISN 12 News.